Hi again, everybody. Still Chris. We are still at the Cal Four Wheel Convention in Visalia, California, California, at the Vehicle Show, and I'm walking through, and I run into this super cool uh, YJ, and Brad Ward is the owner. Uh, so, Brad, this is awesome. There's a lot of questions I've got about this rig, but first okay. of all, tell me the year, how long you've had it. I mean, just kind of give us the. Well, it's a 92 YJ. I've had it since about 1997, and um, it um, it's got a got a four liter with with a five speed and um, and a four to one Terralo transfer cable. So you get the five speed, which I'm trying to remember which model that was. I think it was like an X15 or I something. I think yeah, the 15. And Terralo to four four to one transfer. Four to case. one, oh, yes. That's nice. Yeah. So how about like axles? What do you got under? Well, so the front's a, it's a stock axle. It's a Dana 30. Um, it's got a Detroit locker in it. The uh, the rear axle I swapped it out for a, a Ford Explorer axle. So it's 8.8. It's got disc brakes, and, um, and it's got a track lock in it. And back. a track lock. Yeah, with 456 gears. Right. So your gear is pretty low on the trail with that Terra Terra Low 4 to 1. Yeah, it works pretty good. And makes yeah. up for these tires. Right. Yeah, uh, they're Super Swamper, 35, 12, mm -hmm. 50, 15. Yeah. And uh, the wheels? Procomp okay. uh, 15 by 8, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's just a great setup. So it's lifted. What, we, yeah. what, what do we got in the, the suspension? So it's, um, it's, it's, it's pretty much stock leaf springs, but they're over the top of the axles. So it's a sprung over conversion. And so it gives you about five and a half inches of right. length. And you're like in this area. So if you guys didn't know, Visalia, Fresno, that area is near like the famous Ducey Trail. There's a yes. whole bunch of trails up up in that area, Shaver Lake area. Yes, Swamp Lake, Coyote Lake. Yeah. Uh, Do you make it make it up there to those? Yeah, all of them actually. Yeah. yeah. So that's like yeah. your backyard. Yeah. So I, one thing I did notice, guys, is if you look behind me, all the way back, there's a rooftop tent. Under that rooftop tent is a trailer. And that's something I think we need to walk back and take a look at. Because this is, you guys got to come with me here. Let's walk back. This thing is super unique. So this is, this is pretty unique. I mean, there's a lot of people that go jeeping with trailers on the back. But yeah. this one's a little bit different. It kind of looks a little homemade. Yeah. And, and you got the rooftop tent. This is an auto home, what, Overland? Overland, oh. yes. You get plenty of comfortable place to sleep when you're right. out on the trail. Yeah. I'll wait till that hot rod goes by. Oh, heard that. We are at a car show, guys, so you got to kind of hang with it. Um, but tell me about this trailer. It's a box trailer. You so, got some stuff going on up here that looks really interesting. Yeah. So I took a bell housing and a and a starter off of a. Uh, it's actually a 289 Ford um, uh, V8. Right. And um, I machined some parts and and hooked the flywheel up to a drive line. And, um, and, and connect it to the, um, actually it's the, it's the stock rear axle out of the Jeep. So it also has 456s. So it's the original axle that came out of yes, the YJ. Yes, out of the YJ, yeah. So it's a, it's a Dana 35. It's got a track lock and 456 gears. And I hooked it up to this uh, drive unit. So when you, um, when you get in a bad spot, you can punch the button and it'll push uh -huh. you over. <laughs> So was this, okay, so I'm going to just do a recap on that. It's a Ford bell housing and starter. Yeah. It's battery operated, 12 volt. It runs off of the flywheel, yes. direct drive, down the drive line to the original YJ axle. Yes. Right, with 456 gear, so they match they all the match. Jeep. Yeah. And so when you get a pickle, well, you just hit the button. That's right, yeah. So this is how it works. The, the Jeep's in neutral, so I just push the starter button, and um, it, it'll it'll push the Jeep. That's guys. That's pretty cool. We just took you as we were talking about. It. I was showing. We were showing you what it looks like down there. But that's like brilliant. I mean, did you tell me? Was that your original well, idea? Yeah, did you see it somewhere? I was, kind of. I we always took a lot of stuff camping and I got three girls and mm -hmm. we and so I was trying to figure out a way we could take that stuff easier but not have it hold us back so um, now we can take we can take the the camping stuff we need and the trailer actually helps us I'm actually better off pulling the trailer um, 
than I am with the Jeep by itself. Really? Yeah. I would love to be out on the trail with you and just like see how that all works. I mean, that's yeah. pretty darn cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, was it, did we miss anything? I'm obviously, you got a great luggage rack up here. I think you said yeah. that that rack up top is. Yeah, that was that was off of one of our Kawasaki mules. It was the <laughs> it was the the brush rack, I think they call it, from mm -hmm. the, so they keep the brush from the from the passengers. Mm -hmm. uh, Good use for it. Yeah. Made your own mounts on it. Yep. But so yeah. that's cool. You got room for your three daughters, right? Right. Yeah. All the gear. Yeah. Yep. You got a nice, comfortable. Do they let you sleep up there? In the no, tent actually, or do they kick I'm, you out? I, I'm, I'm on a cot. You're on the cot. I'm on, on the cot ground. on the ground. <laughs> they get to sleep in there. How did I guess that? <laughs> so, yeah. Or because I have. How old are your girls? Uh, well, uh, 22, uh, 19, and 15. Yeah, uh, yeah. But as yeah. they were younger, it was just like yeah, right. they were yeah. playing in the, yeah. the treehouse, and you got yeah. the ground tent. That's, right. That's great. Well, I appreciate yeah. your time. That's awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, 92 YJ Brad's rig with this. I mean, the Jeep is cool enough because, as Rick Payway says, all Jeeps are cool. Um, but the fact that like he built this trailer to carry all the gear and a tent, and not only it's six-wheel drive, so that's brilliant. I love it. Appreciate your time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stick around for the next one. We're still here at the uh, Cal 4 Convention.